Hello everyone, this is Ian Lamont, founder of In 30 Minutes Guides, which includes Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes and Microsoft Word in 30 Minutes. Today I'm going to be comparing Microsoft Word Online with Google Docs. And these are both online word processors, both are free to use, uh, both are backed by very powerful software companies. And I'm just going to be talking a little bit about the features and comparing them a bit. And uh, I'll wrap up by saying which one that I generally prefer to use. So Microsoft Word Online, it's available via live.com or just search for Word Online in Google and you'll be able to find it. You need a Microsoft account to get on. Uh, that's very similar to Google Docs or Drive, by the way. You need a, a Google account to use it. Uh, but once you're in it, it actually looks a little bit like what you would see if you're using the, you know, the desktop version. It's, it's a basically a very simplified version of the desktop uh, Microsoft Word, such as Word 2016. At the top you have your ribbon. You can switch ribbons. Uh, there's not as many ribbons as there are in the desktop version, uh, but it c handles most of the basic features pretty well. And you can kind of go back and forth and check the spelling. You can format different things. I'm using this uh, nice template that Microsoft Word Online provides uh, to make a resume. And basically, I wanted to start editing. I would just go in and start typing. You know, it's not that hard to do, and you can you can fill out this information. Uh, and then you can save the document. And all documents are saved online. You need a Wi-Fi connection or a network connection, and it's saved to OneDrive. Uh, so you will not be saving files to your hard drive, uh, unlike the desktop version of Word 2016. It's pretty good for collaboration. If someone else has the same OneDrive, if you share this document with somebody else and they're accessing the same OneDrive document the same time you are, uh, you will see them doing their work. You can leave comments and things like that. Um, and then by comparison, let's take a look at the Google Docs. So Google Docs has a bit of a different layout. Um, this is also a resume template. The template looks a bit different, but it basically covers the same type of information. So if I wanted to change that, I'd start typing my name. Uh, instead of having ribbons, they have a single toolbar that runs across the top with some basic features. I think you can imagine what they're for. Like if I wanted to change the font here, I'd highlight that. It's using Meriwether 36. I could change that to uh, Calibri. I could change the font size. And by the way, you can do this with, the, uh, with Microsoft Word Online as well. This is Georgia. If I wanted to change it to Times New Roman, I could do that. I could change the font size, et cetera, et cetera. So they're very, they're very similar in that respect, the two tools. The other thing is, is because there's no ribbons and there's just one toolbar, Google still uses these uh, drop-down menus for uh, lots of different things. So for instance, if I wanted to insert a table, I'd hit the table link at the top and I'd start um, you know, inserting it, making the size, maybe deleting rows or deleting columns. Uh, whereas for the Word Online, you have to find the right ribbon where, it's, where tables are put in and they do have one here. And then you'd start to use it that way. In general, I found that Google Docs has more sophisticated features than Microsoft Word Online for practically everything. This particular tool that Google provides, it's been in development, I think, for 10 years or maybe even more than that. Whereas Microsoft Word Online, Microsoft only released this maybe four or five years ago. And I think they did it partially because Google had this free online uh, tool and they wanted to catch up and provide their users with a free alternative. So Google Docs features are more sophisticated. And actually that does make a difference. Uh, to give you one example, if I wanted to use Word Online to insert something. So let's just move this down for the sake of giving an example. I'm using the insert ribbon. And you can see what I can put in there. There's uh, page breaks, tables, pictures, um, a link, a header and footer. And by the way, the header and footer are very basic, nothing sophisticated there. You can also insert a footnote or an endnote. However, if you go to Google Docs, if you click the insert drop down there, there's all kinds of things. Some of them are the same, like inserting an image or inserting a link or a comment or a footnote. Microsoft Word does that as well. However, Microsoft Word definitely does not have the ability to insert a drawing, to insert a chart, like it will let you uh, insert a bar, column, or pie chart, or import something from Google Sheets. Microsoft Word Online does not have that sort of uh, uh, ability to take something from Excel Online to insert a chart or a spreadsheet or something like that. Uh, I found that the features that they do have 
in Google Docs are a bit more sophisticated. So the header feature, I think, is a bit better than the one that's in Microsoft Word Online. Uh, it's also easier to use. So I could just say, um, you know, Lamont resume. Oops, type that wrong. And also one thing I've done a lot with uh, this version of Google Docs is I've inserted images and logos into the header. You cannot do that with Microsoft Word. So I think you'll see that in certain respects, these are similar tools. Um, certainly if you're comfortable using Microsoft products and you're used to the ribbon interface, Microsoft Word Online might be the better option. But I actually think that the features of Google Docs, they're more sophisticated. There's more things you can do. Um, there's things you simply cannot do in Microsoft Word Online that you can do with Google Docs. And then Google Docs also has this uh, offline work mode that you can activate. It's a little bit complicated to do. I outline it in the book, Google Drive and Docs in 30 minutes, how to get that set up. Uh, Microsoft Word Online currently does not have any such ability to do that. And then finally, uh, one thing that's very important to note, even if you're using Google Docs to create a document, if you want to import it or send it to Microsoft Word, you can do that. Just go to File, Download as Microsoft Word. So I can create a Microsoft Word version of this. And then if I wanted to, I could even open it up in, uh, in Microsoft Word Online. Um, Microsoft Word Online is not so flexible in terms of saving uh, different formats. You know, you can create a PDF or you can just save it to OneDrive. But you can't do things that the Google Docs version can do, such as saving it to uh, multiple types of formats, you know, including rich text, uh, plain text, even an EPUB. So I think in this case, Google Docs wins uh, hands down over Microsoft Word Online. However, I would expect that Microsoft is going to improve Microsoft Word Online in the years to come. So uh, maybe pretty soon they will actually be on a pretty similar footing. Uh, for more information on how to get the most out of Google Drive, Google Docs, check out the book Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes, Microsoft Word. Uh, Angela Rose has written a wonderful book called Microsoft Word in 30 Minutes. It includes lots of tips on how to get the most out of Microsoft Word and Word Online. Both are available from in30minutes.com. And thank you so much for watching.